What's up guys and welcome back to Tech Plan. Today I've got vlog number three for you. And to start it off uh, real quick, check out this cool shirt I got. I got this over from another YouTuber. He's got a really cool channel. His name is John. He runs a channel called Growing Your Greens. And he's just got tons of super long videos, super educational videos. And just if you want to learn about gardening or watch anything interesting, he's got tons of content and he continuously produces tons. So I thought I'd get a shirt of his to support him and just because I think he's a cool guy. So you should check out his channel. I'll put the link in the description. He's got some cool stuff. But anyways, let's get on to the vlog. Today I got hot hands and can you grow plants in them? How your uh, grow, grow lights can kill you. And then I think I got some exciting news about some of the plants that I got here in the background. So let's get to it. All right, so first things first, let's uh, start off with the full spectrum death trap. Uh, I discovered this on accident when I was showing my collection of plants to somebody and I kind of leaned on both putting a hand on the back side of each light and uh, I felt kind of a weird uh, sensation. Uh, it was similar to if you put a 9 volt battery on your tongue and if you never did this as a child, well, either something's wrong with me or something's wrong with you. But anyways, the electricity flowing through this is not extreme. However, I busted out my uh, multimeter so I could just kind of run a test and see like what is flowing across when you do this. And when I hook it up, I realize that there's about 60 volts running through this thing, which is weird because it's about half the voltage of like our standard outlets here in the US. So I'm not sure why it's 60. Also, it's pretty safe because the amperage was uh, next to nothing. Usually folks, it's the amps that kill people and the volts are just kind of the painful part. I don't know about you guys, but I have been electrocuted really badly in my life many times and <laughs> Nothing gives you the cold sweats like getting just a huge jolt. So I don't know why these are doing this. But anyways, it's something to be aware of. Next up on the list for today's vlog is hot hands. Now, I got kind of sick and I was having like really bad earaches and my throat was like swollen. So I was using these hot hands in order to kind of like heat up my body and like help. But as I was shaking them about, I got kind of curious what was inside. So I decided let's chop them open and it kind of looks like dirt. So... <laughs> I thought, hey, what a better experiment than to try and grow some seeds in whatever the heck this stuff is. So I just proceeded to cut all of them open and empty them into a container. And then I chose kind of a pot that I think was going to hold some water. And I'm going to try and use radish seeds for this experiment just because they sprout so darn quick and they grow very quick. So I figured it'd be like the perfect plant for experimenting with. All right, quiz time. Do you think these sprouted or do you think they didn't sprout? It indeed did not sprout. I guess I should have just assumed that whatever's in there is pretty toxic, but I try the stupid things on this channel so you don't have to. Uh, just a little side mini topic, some exciting news. I finally have my grow box up and running at night and I am actually able to sleep with it. Believe it or not, the box kind of prevents the light from leaking and the fans are not too loud and I'm able to sleep. So that's cool. I can run this at night and take advantage of the cooler nighttime air and the cheaper electricity. The only weird thing I noticed is I'm having horrible nightmares. So I don't know if it's like related or if it's because I started a new job recently. But either way, I will I will keep monitoring that progress. And lastly, probably the most exciting thing, which also happens to be happening inside that box, is my tomatoes are actually flowering. Now, this is super exciting for me because I've never grown any vegetables in this room that actually like fruited. I've grown radishes, which are kind of like more of a root based plant. And I've grown plenty of leafy greens, but never grown anything that fruits. So this is my first opportunity and chance to see if I can get these things to bloom, uh, pollinate, and grow actual tomatoes indoors. So I'm super excited. If this does work out the way I want to, I'm going to try and keep cloning these things and just have like a fresh or I guess a constant supply of uh, tomatoes growing in this box. I think it'd be super awesome. I really love tomatoes. And most of all, I know some of you out there are weird like me, but I love the smell of tomato plants when you like touch them. That's like one of my favorite parts about eating tomato plants right off the vine is you also get tomato plant smell and ooh, it's excellent. Let me tell you, you should try it if you've never done it before because the smell plus the tomato is just perfection. But anyways, yeah, I'm excited for these and I, I hope that they successfully start creating tomatoes. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that vlog. I'm super excited about the flowers. This will be the first like fruiting plant that I've grown in this room that might actually make something. Otherwise, everything's been leafy greens. As you can see, this stuff here doing really well. But the tomato plants I'm most excited for. I really want to get some nice tomatoes in there. I think it'd be so cool. 
and they're also starting to grow suckers which i can't believe to start cloning and just keep the tomato supply going so i hope you guys like these new vlog sty uh, style videos i'm trying to show you failures as you saw with the hot hands so that way videos that might not make it to their own video can just kind of have a part in the vlog so again i hope you guys like these leave stuff in the comments what you'd like to see in these kind of vlog things what you want me to do um obviously likes are always helpful and just you guys watching is always helpful so i'm always thankful for that my subscriber count somewhere in fourth the four thousand so i think that's super cool and again i i know i don't show my appreciation that much but i'm always thankful that you guys watch these videos it helps keep me going and it's just cool to know that people might actually enjoy them so anyways i hope you guys' plants are growing strong and healthy and i'll see you next time oh and actually don't forget to go subscribe to this guy at growingyourgreens.com or his channel i'll have a link in the description he's really cool i promise you'll like it again see you guys next time peace